everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be playing Outlast. We're going to be finishing the last section of the game and beating the game for you guys. So I just wanted to show you the chapters. So we have did the administration block, we have did the prison block, sewer, male ward, courtyard, female ward, return to the administration block, and now we are in the underground lab. And all of these ones under here with plus signs on it, those are the DLCs. So we'll be doing the DLCs next. And in case you guys were wondering what my settings were, I'm playing on console so I don't have as many settings as PC, but yeah. These are mine. I use, I don't know why the tutorials was on, but yeah. I usually keep my sensitivity here, the volume I have kind of low for the video. Gamma I turned up a little bit, but if you want to you can turn your gamma all, gamma all the way up. Just so it's easier to see, but I wouldn't recommend it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so if you guys remember last episode, we came out of this door right here, and now we, we got the key to do the elevator, and if you remember, there was down here, which was the front area, the naked twin was right there, so yeah, now we'll go into the elevator. Okay, so now we're down here. This area is pretty straightforward. It's not too hard. It could be hard, but it's pretty easy. This just involves mostly running. You can record this, I think. Yes. Yes, sir. You can. There's a document back here if you want it. Go through here. You don't really need your night vision on, but go through here. We'll have to go in here later. If I remember correctly. Here. It's pretty gross right there, isn't it? Nothing. Uh, nothing is. Oh, there's a document in there if you guys want it. Outside, look at that. If you if you guys ever wanted an Outlast game, or you were thinking it'd be cool to go outside, well then Outlast 2 would be for you. There ain't really nothing in here. You gotta go this way through the dark. And yeah, Outlast 2 mostly takes place outside. So turn around. Run back. The wall rider, the ghost is chasing you here. You'll be fine. Look, he's not even behind me. He's so far away, like... Go through the store and just wait. Go this way. There was that that document was in there. Come in here. Now you, you can't if you want this note, just record this guy, record the whole thing. But I'm not going to. So and it's gonna take a little bit too, so I 
Daniel's father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Birkhoff discovered in my research a work around. Turning the cells in the human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineered the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Okay. So go out here. Go this way. Go in here, and like I said. This, this is the door, like I said, when we were going through earlier. We'll have to go in here eventually. In here, there's a note, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to go in any of these rooms, but... Let's see. Yeah, that's the same room as that. Another... There's a headless guy in there. It's pretty cool. Um, this way. Billy's going to appear right there. You can come in here. This way. You can just run past them, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, and you're safe now. Okay. So, sorry about that. Go this way. There's a document right here. I was just trying to fix my own headset. <laughs> In here. These don't work. This, this looks like you can do something with it. But you can't. Document. Well, you can't press that yet. I'm trying to grab the document. Right there. Okay. Keep going this way. Run, 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 run. Now in here there's another document. Grab that if you want. You can just jump over the railing like I did, it's a little bit faster. You can also jump up by your higher up, if you want. So run out here. Don't press that thing yet, we need one more. What up, Billy? So we gotta go up here. You'll be fine at this part as long as you just run forward and you don't miss the jump. It's a battery if you want that. It's gonna be pretty dark. Go through this door, just run through it. Don't need it yet. Now there is a big jump you gotta do up there. Just try not to fail the jump. You can see it right there. Coming up right here. And just jump. 
should still be right behind you. Yes, sir, you see him? There's a document right here. Turn this on. Or off, I should say. I cannot jump down there, okay. I just wanted to see something. Let me jump down here, yes sir. This probably wouldn't save much time anyway, at all. Probably, <laughs> probably uses more time, but that's fine, that's fine. Light on. Jump. As soon as you get up, just start running. And then go press the button. Right here. Boom. And that's really it, guys. That's all. That's the game. If you want to know the story more, I recommend going watching a YouTube video about it. There's plenty of um, different YouTube videos explaining the story and what happens. Let me just go this way. So for now, this is the game. It's basically over. There's nothing else you can die at. But um. So next, I'm either thinking of playing the DLC, which the DLC, I've beaten the DLC plenty of times, but I'm not as familiar with the DLC as I am with this. So the DLCs might be a little bit more messed up, but I'll definitely um, do some playthroughs of it again just to get used to everything. And then if I do that, I can either do that, Outlast 2, or I'm planning to play Slender the Arrival and do a playthrough on that game. Keep going forward. But next, I probably will um, do the DLC, and then I'm still deciding if I want to do Slender, The Arrival, or Outlast 2 next. And that's it guys, that was Outlast, be it in three episodes. It's a really, really short game if you know what you're doing. And I'm not saying I'm the fastest or anything, I'm definitely not, but I know what I was doing. And um, I think I beat it in a pretty fast time and hopefully I showed you guys a good way to beat it, even though I, was, I know I was a little bit fast and I didn't get all the collectibles or anything. I, I'm just hoping that uh, I gave you an idea on how to get through most of the areas in this game. So yeah, 
next. I'll be doing the DLC. The DLCs, in my opinion, the, the DLC is a little bit harder than the main game. You play as Wayland. But yeah. See, I mean, it's about the same amount of levels. But it's just a little bit harder, in my opinion. And just sometimes just trying to figure out where to go can be pretty difficult. But yeah, I'll be doing that next. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you all enjoyed this little walkthrough.